In this video, we are going to learn about dilations. A dilation is a type of transformation, and a transformation in general is any operation that changes a shape or a line segment. So this particular type of transformation, what it does is enlarges or reduces a shape. So that means it makes it bigger or smaller. So that means because the original shape and the dilated shape are basically the same shape and one's just an enlargement of the other, they will be similar. So dilations always create similar figures. Whenever you dilate something, you need to know two pieces of information. You need to know the scale factor. So that's how much bigger or smaller you're going to change the shape. So are you gonna make it twice as big, half as big? How are you gonna change it? That's the scale factor. And the other thing you need to know is the center. So that's the point from which everything is stretched. So let's look at an example. If we had this square and we wanted to dilate it about the center and the scale factor was two, what you would want to do is starting at the center, go from the center to each vertex and double or times by two this length. So if this was length one, you would want to draw two of those and that would be length two. And you want to do that from the center to each vertex and you'll end up with four new points and those will be the points that make the new square, the image. So the red square is a dilation of the black square. Now it would be slightly different if we dilated about a different point besides the center. So if we again started with a bl little black square, but this time we're going to dilate about point P, so that's sort of the stretch point, the scale factor is still going to be two, what would happen is we would start from point P and again go to each vertex and double the length and from point P we don't have to double anything because P to itself is zero so it doesn't change. So the new square will be like this. So the red square is a dilation of the black square. And in each of these examples, both this one and this one, the fact that the scale factor is two means that each side of the new shape, the red one, is twice as long as its corresponding side in the black square. In both of these examples, the scale factor was two. Anytime the scale factor is greater than one, that means that the new shape will be an enlargement, so we're getting bigger. That's because each side is a multiple of the original. Now, if the scale factor is less than one, that would mean it's a reduction, so the resulting shape will be smaller than the original. Because, for example, if the scale factor had been a half, each side would be only half as long as the original. So if we wanted to do a scale factor of a half on this shape right here, instead of doubling each length, we'd only go half as far. And this little purple square would be the result. So that's what it would look like if the scale factor was a half. So anytime the scale factor is less than one, the shape gets smaller. If it's greater than one, the shape gets bigger. In general, the two shapes, both the original and the new image, will always be similar to each other. And you always want to pay attention to where the center point is, because whether it's in the center or at point P, you have to know from which point you're sort of stretching so that you can get the right result.